I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Southwest doll for Native American Heritage Month. I take two fingers right here in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line out to the left, straight line out to the right, come back to the left, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Inside I'm going to draw one, two, three, four straight lines to make a rectangle on the left. One, two, three, four straight lines on the right. And underneath I'm going to make one, two, three, four straight lines to make a rectangle for the center. I come over here on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line up straight line over, little straight line down, straight line in, straight line down, connect. Underneath I'm going to draw it again, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line in, straight line down, connect. On the left hand side I'm going to draw a curved line. Up at the top, I'm going to go zigzag, 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 and leave it floating. Because now at the bottom, I'm going to go curve line up, in, out, in, out, up, connect on the right side. Same thing, curve line out, in, out, in, connect on the left. We're going to do one more curve line to the corner, come up to the top zigzag, 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 leave it floating, come to the bottom, curve line in, out, up, down, up, over, connect, on top, now the bottom, curve line in, out, up, over, connect. Okay, come right here in the middle, we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect, and we're going to draw a straight line in the center, connect. We're going to draw on the left a straight line down, straight line over, come on the right, straight line down, connect. Come inside and we're going to draw one, two straight lines and cross them, one, jump over, two, one, jump over, two straight lines. Now at this point we're going to come and we're going to draw one, two straight lines going down, one, jump over, two straight lines, jump over and connect. Down here at the bottom, straight diagonal out on the left, straight diagonal out on the right. Come back to the left, straight line across, connect. Inside, one straight diagonal up, down, connect, another straight diagonal down, up, connect. Come all the way down to the bottom, one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines. At the bottom, rectangles, one, two, three, four, connect, one, two, three, four, connect. Okay, now come up here to this point and we're going to draw curve line out, zigzag, 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 leave it floating, come up to the top, curve line out, in, out, in, connect, on top, curve line out, in, out, in, connect, on the bottom. Next one, curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag at the top, come on top, 
curve line out, in, out, in, connect on the bottom, curve line out, in, out, in, connect. One more, curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, come on the top, curve line, curve line, in, out, connect on the bottom, curve line, curve line, in, out, connect. If you can fit one more down here, curve line out, zigzag, 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 connect on top, curve line, curve line up, connect on the bottom, curve line out, in, out, in, connect on the top. All right, I come up to the first one and I'm just going to add two little lines and I'm going to color these in because these are the top parts of my feathers. So I'm just going to add I'm going to color these in now so I don't forget. These are the top ends of my feathers. And I'm coloring them in black because I have it out already. Black. Already. Black. Already. Okay. Now, I put a border on this. Zigzag, zigzag all the way down, zigzag, zigzag, all the way down on the right and now on the left, zigzag, zigzag, all the way down and the bottom, zigzag, 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 all the way across and on the top if you can fit part, zigzag, don't draw through your drawing, so jump over, zigzag off the page. Then I added a dot on the top indentation of my zigzag going all the way around. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this to finish my edges. You can make your own choices. It's totally up to you. I know this is a lot of detail. And then the same goes for your top. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, coloring this in from top to bottom, okay? Regular blue crayon to do these spaces right here. Okay? Regular blue. Then I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color in my rectangles. Okay? And I'm going to come all the way down and color these rectangles black. And these bottom rectangles blue. Very simple colors. And you will do a way better job than me. Okay. Then I color this inset blue. I jump down and I color this inset space blue. Okay? And you will do a way better job than me. Okay? Then, with my yellow, I color this rectangle yellow. I color my X's yellow. Bring it all the way down, yellow. I color my baby triangles, yellow. Okay, then I take my red and I color this rectangle red, these side spaces, triangles red. This is red. 
this is red, this is red, and this is red. Okay. Okay. These look like they need a little bit more color. And for once, this looks very good colored dark. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Southwest style doll, all colored in, ready for National Native American Heritage Month. Okay, bye-bye.